sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill guys, it's Kaki. I just wanted to pop on here really quick and do a video about must-haves to take to the hospital for your weight loss surgery. One of my subscribers, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce this, but I think you pronounce it Davina Martinez, is having surgery on Monday. I'm so excited for her, and I had mentioned that I was going to do what to pack in your bag, do a what to pack in your bag video, and she mentioned she needed it quick. So I'm going to put this out. This is going to be a short video because you don't need hardly anything. Everything that you need, they're going to give you at the hospital. But first, first thing, this is the dress that I wore, let me get it here, to the hospital for my gastric bypass. Very loose, just a, let me find the top, there we go. Very loose fitting, kind of a t-shirt style dress. That's what I wore and that's what I wore home. As soon as I got to the hospital, within probably an hour, they had me in a hospital gown with my IV started. So I just ended up wearing this home. I would suggest for you ladies that you, if you at all can wear a dress, something very loose fitting. I did find that it was probably a couple of weeks before I could comfortably wear pants. That was just me, but where the pants hit those little incisions was just pretty uncomfortable. So I'm glad that I wore a dress and wore it home. I actually had packed a pair of pants to wear home. Glad I had this. I did not take any pajama pants or anything like that. My hospital room was a big hospital room. As soon as I could, I did all my walking in there. I just kind of drug my IV back and forth to the, you know, through the room. So I didn't need, didn't need any pajama pants or anything. I don't know that I could have worn them because I think it would have pretty, you know, your your belly is pretty distended from where they fill you full of air. So don't think I would have been able to use them even if I had taken them. They're going to give you socks, the non-skid socks to wear. So if you want to take a pair of house shoes, do that. But they're going to give you socks to wear. The other absolute must-have chapstick or some type of lip balm. Lips are very dry after surgery, uh, I'm sure, to the intubation and the oxygen mask that they put on before they do that. So this is the number one thing that I needed and that they did not have at the hospital. Everything else they could supply you. They brought me a toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, soap if I wanted to wash up in the morning. Of course, being in healthcare, I knew they were going to provide all that, so I didn't bother bringing it. But this, you don't get in the hospital. The other thing, my computer, which I'm recording on now, my laptop, and a computer charger. I ended up, as I have said multiple times, I had a very, very smooth recovery. Believe it or not, by that evening, I was doing some work on my computer looking at charts and, and just making sure I didn't get too behind on anything. So I'm glad I had my computer. I also got on Facebook and posted updates about my surgery. So be sure to bring that. And a charger because if you're like me that night, I just kind of dozed on and off. But I was on the computer a lot, so I'm glad that I had that. Other thing, cell phone charger for sure. If you have a long one, be sure to bring a long cord because the plug in most hospital rooms is a little bit away. Definitely your phone. <laughs> you want to be able to stay in touch with your family. And folks, that's it. That's all I that's all I took and that's all I needed. I didn't feel like I needed anything else. They're going to supply you with water. They're going to bring you 
uh, like drink, at least they did in my hospital, little drink mixes to put in it. They're going to bring you broth. They're going to bring you ice. You're going to be provided with, of course, a hospital gown with the socks to wear when you're up and walking with blankets. If you're somebody who is finds comfort in bringing and having your own pillow or a special blanket, definitely bring that. But I put a lot of thought into what to bring and I watched all these videos and in the end, all I needed was computer, chapstick, chargers, cell phone, and that was it. So everybody who is getting ready for surgery, don't stress about what to take. Just bring those things and I think you'll be fine. And of course, anything else that you that you want to, to bring that will bring you comfort. I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will see you on Wednesday for my regular update. Bye.